we try not to let the highs be too high, lows be too low, and we try to, you know, like stay consistent. And I mean, I'm sure we'll be looking ahead and refocused here pretty soon. But I mean, just having held the trophy 10 minutes ago, it feels really good right now. So. Well deserved, man. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. Any extra special given you haven't done this before? A lot of your teammates have. Yeah. You have not. Extra special because of that? It is extra special being my only championship. Yeah. Uh, but it's amazing. I mean, I'm sure it's special to them to have three of them. But I mean, for it to be my first one, I feel I'm on. I'm on the moon right now. So. so you committed about a year ago, right? Because mm -hmm. it was early in the process. Yep. And, uh, you talked about wanting to come play with the best offensive line, win championships. Does, does it kind of feel like it's been a year full circle? Like, Yep. I mean, this is why you come to Michigan, right? So, I mean, just thinking back to that recruiting process and, you know, all the opportunities and options and whatnot, this is why you come to Michigan. And I feel like I've got a chance to do all the things I wanted to do, and I couldn't be more pleased with this. Yeah. Uh, potentially number one tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. The way things played out, Michigan hasn't been number one for a long time, hasn't played in a Rose Bowl in a long time. <laughs> Have you thought about that at all, or is it too soon after this? Uh, honestly, I hadn't thought about it too much, but I'm sure we'll be thinking about it when we get on the bus and just start talking with each other. But uh, that's, that's really cool. You know, it's just, hey, job's not done, and we know even being number one, we got a job to do, so. Thanks, Ladarius. Thank you. When the coach was suspended, um, what, how worried were you that you guys were going to lose what you did? I mean, you were coming into the most difficult stretch of your season at Penn State, at Maryland, the game, and now you don't have your coach. How hard was it to, to keep on the track that you built? Oh, we weren't worried at all that we were going to lose what we built because, I mean, what Coach Harbaugh has built here and his time here, it wouldn't just break with the absence of him, you know? And um, credit to him, because he's the one who built it, but even he's built it so well that even his absence, I don't think it will be broken, so. What, what made you so confident? I mean, we have, we, I do believe we have the best head coach in the country, but I mean, I also believe we have the best coordinators in the country. I mean, I feel like we have the best defense in the country. I feel like we have a lot of the best in the country. And even though, our fearless leader wasn't there. Um, it's just, I feel like we were still really confident in our abilities to do what he had coached us to do throughout the week. So You talk about that defense. I mean, what you guys have done over that month. Uh, how impressed, looking at looking back, and, and at, back at, including tonight, are you of what you guys did? I am so impressed with our defense, but we are never surprised by what they do. What, what they do. We knew they were amazing the entire time. Um, these guys, I knew. I knew our defense was amazing when I came here.